Hello, today we're going to do a short video of replacing a sprocket on a Husqvarna 350. This will apply for the Husqvarna 340, 345, 346, 350, 351, and 353. We'll be replacing it with a spur sprocket. After removing the three screws that holds the cylinder cover on, you will need to remove the spark plug boot, remove the spark plug, And for replacing the sprocket, you will need a special spanner tool. It's available also for sale. You will need a piston stop to screw into the cylinder. You can use your bar wrench. It has backwards thread, so you will turn it to the right to loosen. You'll turn the engine over until it locks up. The clutch has backwards thread, so you turn it to the right to loosen. Spin the clutch off, remove the drive sprocket, and as you can look at this drive sprocket here, it's extremely worn compared to the new one. Take your needle bearing, you want to grease your needle bearing. If any needles are broke or missing, it needs to be replaced. Squirt some grease in and smear it around on the inside. Install it back on there. Install your new sprocket. <clears throat> the sprocket has special cutout teeth here they engage into the oil pump drive gear slide it on there engage it screw your clutch back on it has backwards threads i've removed the um, starter cover on this side so we'll just rotate the engine till the engine locks up secure the clutch back down and I'll say again you will need a special spanner wrench adapter for this. Taking the clutch off and a piston stop to screw in to lock the engine up. You can go ahead now and re reassemble the rest of the saw and you're ready to cut wood. I want to thank you very much for watching this short video. If you need any parts go to www.lilleredbarn.net and go to, in their store you go to the manufacturer, the model number, and the category. Thank you very much.